In this premiere episode of Rapid Media TV, we talk with Woody Calloway about his crossover, the Liquid Logic Remix XP. We catch up with paddling filmmaker Justine Kirkenvin at Canucopia to give us a taste of her latest project. And we drop into the Petawawa River with event organizer Philip Compass, who's getting ready for this year's Hell or High Water. This is Rapid Media TV. Welcome to Rapid Media TV. I'm Scott McGregor. Twelve years ago, I scribbled on a bar napkin the concept of North America's first whitewater canoeing and kayaking magazine. Rapid is still today the flagship publication, and since we've added Adventure Kayak, Canoe Roots, and Kayak Angler magazines. Rapid Media TV is my latest bar napkin scribble. Liquid Logic Kayak released their Remix XP in 2009 and has since found it floating in a class of river all its own. The XP has the best features of the Whitewater River Runners, recreational kayaks, and touring kayaks. Liquid Logic has created a boat for those who dream of paddling rivers, not waterfalls. We met up with Woody Calloway in New Jersey at the Paddle Sports Show to talk about the XP. Well, the first thing, <clears throat> the first thing we did is, is we added a little width. It's, um, if you look at the XP series, they're a little wider than most normal whitewater kayaks, you know. So we added some width in this area. That gave it a lot of stability. And the next thing we did is a typical whitewater boat. Um, we dropped the rocker profile end to end down just to aid in a little bit of tracking. We put this skag feature on, spring loaded. With a flip of a liver, boom, a skeg's dropping down in the back, and now we're tracking, it's true. The other cool feature that people really like is the back hatch. To be able to think, um, to be able to open up a hatch, boom, and you know, there's a new movement in, in um, kayaking, particularly whitewater or, or moving current. People want to enjoy more than a day run, that excitement of being out overnight is really catching on. We just, in fact, in the last issue of Rapid, did an overnight's made easy. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I say that this is making overnights real easy. Right. And I, it seems to me that a whole lot of people have come into paddling and don't canoe. Right. And you're making overnights and camping trips accessible to those folks. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's that part of kayaking that the sport has missed for years, you know, that camper. And these type of boats just make it easier to do, you know, case closed. Great. Thanks very much, Woody. So we, we can learn about the Remix XP at liquidlogickayaks.com. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thanks. Rapid Media attended Canucopia, North America's largest canoe and kayak consumer show. Paddlers from miles around make the annual pilgrimage to Madison, Wisconsin every March. They come to check out the latest products, make summer plans with outfitters, and shop the show. They also file into Canucopia's 12 seminar rooms to see the who's who of paddling. British paddling filmmaker Justine Kirkenbin, best known for her This Is The Sea series of films, was there to premiere her double DVD, This Is Canoeing. I met with Kurgenvin at the show and asked her which of the 12 canoe films on the DVD is her favorite. I changed my mind. I actually really like the one that you're in with your son going down the Petawawa River. I think that's just such a feel-good film. Like, um, you know, everyone can remember being a young kid and getting really excited about journeys and, and adventures. And I think your son is just a really great character. And I think the interaction between the two of you is really good. And it's in a really scenic um, place uh, so in different days I like I like different ones the mountain river one the Rannock Moor one I don't know <laughs> I think we're gonna play a 90 second trailer to Dougie down the pet would that be all right with you no <laughs> <laughs> well that's the one we've got queued and that's the only one you sent us so I think we're gonna go with that that's fine that would be great Canoeing has always been a part of Scott McGregor's life. As soon as he became a dad, he started sharing his passion for paddling with his young family. My wife and I were married and I didn't ever really think about what it would be like to have kids. Dougie was born two months early, which meant that's two months less time than most people normally get to think about what it's like to have kids. And I put him in my arms. He was less than five pounds. He was this little bundle of baby, and I was very nervous. I hadn't been around 
babies this small. And I looked at the nurse, I said, what should I do? And she said, tell him a story. And the only story I could think about telling him was the story of what it's going to be like to go down the Petawawa River. So here I am holding my first baby, and I told him about the lake on Traverse and the sandy beaches. And then I told him about Rollaway Rapid and the cliffs at the Natch. Last summer he was three and we went down on our first trip. And I can never imagine that it would be so soon that I would get to show him all these things that I first told him about when he was born. Are you looking forward to this? Yeah. Here you go. Can we get going? Kirkenvin's Dougie Down the Pet won the Best Professional Documentary at the National Paddling Film Festival and Best Canoeing Film at our Real Paddling Film Festival. You can read more about Kirkenvin in the early summer issue of Canoe Roots, in which he is featured in the article Canoe People of 2010. Philip Compass's local river has been shortlisted by hydro developers. To raise public awareness of this classic whitewater run, he created Hell or High Water. Rapid Media TV caught up with Compass on the banks of the Petawawa River to see what's on deck for this year's event. Hi folks, Dan Caldwell here on the shores of Petawawa River, home of Hell or High Water, one of the new grassroots downriver events. With me is uh, organizer Philip Compass, who helped get the event off the ground. Uh, tell us a little bit about last year's event. Well, thanks, Dan, uh, and thanks, listeners, for tuning in. This is going to be a, a great event. I hope lots of people come out this year. Now, now, last year's event was the first time we had it, uh, Hell or High Water. It's got two parts, I guess you could say. One is to, is to introduce the town a little bit to, to this recreational, this white water resource that we have right here. And the other part is to raise a little bit of, a, a little bit of awareness about uh, a possible dam project that's being proposed for the river. And so we kind of have a, a, a two-pronged approach to getting, getting people out and enjoying the river out here. Now, Hell or High Water itself is a race. It's a downriver race. We had uh, a number of raft teams participating. We had a number of kayaking teams. I think for the, for the first year, we had 51 registered racers. Uh, and they were out on a, on a terribly rainy day. But everyone did seem to have a whole lot of fun. And, and I'd say that the event was a big success. Uh, I actually attended last year's event and raced. Uh, it was very well organized. Lots of spectators. Lots of sponsors were out. What do you guys have lined up for this year's event? Well, thanks for asking. Actually, we are looking forward to Hell or High Water too. We're, we're going to grow the demographic by having a larger raft component. So the idea is to get some of the local businesses uh, and maybe some of the local clubs and teams to, to sponsor their own raft. And that'll be a twofold benefit. One, we'll get more people on the river. And secondly, we're going to raise, raise some funds for, for a good cause to help dam projects here or elsewhere. Um, and so we're, we haven't chosen the cause yet, but that'll be part of it. And then, then the kayaking portion will be very similar to what we had last year. And so boats, be they rafts or kayaks or canoes, we did have a couple of canoes out last year, leave from just behind me on the railroad, railway rapid. So you leave that in one minute intervals and your time is recorded when you get to the bottom. So about, about a kilometer and a kilometer and a half, uh, you run through three major rapids uh, and you finish up in a, in a large eddy just down below the lover's rapid. I do hope people make, make Mark May 1st into their calendars and make an effort to come out and enjoy this river for that reason, for many other reasons, and really just to have a great time. Well, thanks a lot, Philip. That's a lot of information there. Uh, Hell or High Water event, great event last year. It's going to be even better this year, so hope to see everybody out. Thanks, Dan. To learn more about Hell or High Water, visit rapidmag.com or visit the event's Facebook page. Rapid Media TV will be back next month with exclusive coverage from the National Sea Kayak Symposium, the Canadian Canoe Symposium, and Palmer Fest. And we field test the new GoPro HD Surf Hero helmet or boat cam. Until then, pick up the early summer issues of Rapid, including our beginner's guide to creaking and a look at how artificial parks are changing whitewater forever. Go dog paddling in the early summer issue of Canoe Roots and get lost at sea in Adventure Kayak Magazine with adventurer John Turk. Pick up copies at your local paddling shop or read them online at rapidmedia.com. Thanks for watching and paddle forever. Learn more about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com. Paddle forever.